I always thought I would do a reading um, for everyone for Easter. I hope you are having a great Easter break. And um, this reading will be for Leo. Um, so yeah, just a bonus reading. Um, let's see what it brings. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. I'm trying to build my channel and yeah, I appreciate everything. All the support. Okay, let's go. Ooh, twin flames. Oh, holy crap. First card. Wedding rings. Holy crap. Two more. One more. They're like, no, no, we're going to chuck in two more. Holy crap. Seduction is on the bottom, just when everything's good. Oh, I mean, you've got the snake. Okay, so let's peek that card there. All right, so. <sighs> I mean, we're going to definitely have to get some tarot. You've got a lot going on. It looks like a lot of good things coming, coming in. Um... You've got the twin flame card, so it looks like you've got someone coming in who, if they're not already here, um, who's going to be your person. It's going to lead to marriage or some sort of high level of commitment, some sort of union, um, <clears throat> you know, everlasting love, that kind of thing. It's That's amazing. Um, you've also got self self-indulgence so this is about realizing your self-worth it's also about taking time out making sure there's an equal give and take um have you healed from i guess the past whatever you've been going through um you're going to be in this place of happiness joy enjoying each other you know doing things you both enjoy going away doing things look it's like this place of paradise. It's just honeymoon stage, kind of. Like you're really going to enjoy each other. Um, you do have the hammer, so we're going to have to find out what that's about. Somebody may try to sabotage it. Somebody may be trying to rebuild with you. You've got the snake where it's about, you know, Obviously, somebody being a snake um, in the situation, which, you know, when you've got the seduction card, you know, kind of says a lot. Um, and the other one that came out with that was the um, ship. Not wanting, not wanting to move on, not wanting to let go of something. So we're definitely going to have to find out more. Well, I'm interested. What was your reading about last time? Oh, leaving the past in the past. Interesting. Okay. So let's see. Maybe that's the snake. All right, let's go. So tell me about the twin flame. Another cut. God, they're all, they're all jumping out. Hold on one second. Okay, so you've got the Fool and you've got the Seven of Cups in reverse. You have choices. Um, and I feel like it's definitely going to be like someone new versus someone from the past, from the repair and the being persistent and wanting to rebuild. I'm assuming this is somebody who's from the past and also someone new coming in um i'm not sure if you want to take a chance with something something is very tempting you've got the four of cups and the page of ones and they're both in reverse feel like something really disappointed you there could have been a lack of stability here 
Um, yeah, a lot of conflict, a lot of, yeah. And maybe you feel like the spark was lost. This could have been you, this could be someone else, but it was like, you could have thought this person was your person. You know, you thought everything was okay. Okay, I'm getting a different message. Okay, so I just got a download saying that the twin flame, you could have both, you know, been in this place where everything was good, you thought everything was going good, you um, saw this person as someone you could be with, your person, right? Um, but then there was some sort of, I feel like there was some sort of temptation, something like that, where someone had choices and we always think, you know, it's exciting and, you know, when there's someone new interested, you're like, hmm, but... I feel like this, as much as you feel like everything was okay, they could have felt like the excitement was gone. They could have felt like the, um, and this, take this as resonates, right? This could be you. This could be you going through this and your person thought everything was okay. So take as resonates, but it's like the spark was gone. There was just, there could have just been conflict. There could have been just someone doubting you. There could have been a lot of things, but <clears throat> and I feel like it's made somebody hesitant to open their heart and also disappointed but because the spark was gone somebody felt like they wanted to withdraw from a situation and maybe this was too I want to say somebody just got tempted by somebody else is what I want to say Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, I mean, is something a wise investment? That's where somebody felt like they were at. Um, tell me about the wedding rings. Ooh. The world in reverse. So... You could have been married to this person or in a high level of commitment. And so we'll just say for now, this person was the one that did this. They were the one that got tempted. You thought everything was okay, right? Take as resonates, but I'm going to say it like, I'm going to do the reading like that. Um, I feel like you're married or in a high level of commitment to this person. You thought you were going to have everlasting love with this person. You were devoted. Um, but they... Obviously, something happened and they got tempted. You feel like you didn't get some sort of closure here. Um, because you, in your mind, you're like, this person's my twin flame. I'm not sure what happened. Like, how could they do that to me um you know and you felt like you had this spark with this person you feel like you know you were setting goals you feel like it was passionate um you were growing together but I just feel like they I don't feel like they did the star in reverse is on the bottom there was some sort of disconnect. Hmm, I don't get a good energy from this. Mind games and control, five of swords. Five of swords is, yeah, toxic, but someone doing something. As I said, I feel like this person took the temptation. Um, tell me about the self-indulgence. Three of Swords, yeah. Like this person, they took the temptation. And now 
you need to take that time to heal because it broke your heart right and yeah you're in control of how you respond but i feel like you need to take the time to heal like this probably killed yourself worth like you know you're like well why wasn't i good enough i thought everything was good you know you saw this person as your twin flame like i said twin flame again maybe this was them running whatever this was though i just mm. i feel like just look after you i mean you've even got divine divine feminine like this, someone really saw this as their twin flame. And I mean, maybe you are. Maybe this person ran. They got scared and they ran. Tell me about paradise. Page of Pentacles. Your font. Oh, it's all the same cards that just have already come out. King of Cups. As I said, you were in some sort of commitment with this person. And... There's definitely... I feel like you have these, these ideas of what a relationship and a commitment and a union and that kind of thing marriage whatever relationship should look like and should be and very concrete ideas right but i feel like you you think it should be about happiness and joy and enjoying each other and being in this honeymoon phase and you know all these things but i feel like that wasn't what you were getting as I said, I feel like you were getting a lot of these mind games and, you know, this person was doing something that they shouldn't have been doing. But they may come back and want to, part of their communication over here is somebody who possibly thinks, oh crap, I made a mistake, I want to rebuild, I want to work on it, but let's find out. Tell me about the hammer. Somebody definitely sees this relationship with you as a wise investment, right? And they also want to come in and be all like truthful and um, communicate to you that they want to repair this, they want to, you know, fix this. Um, be careful because there could be some sort of manipulation here. Um, Yeah, I feel like this person was very self-indulgent and that's why they chose this seduction, this whatever this is. To, oops, that's why they chose the temptation. Um, yeah, the truth is definitely come out, justice will be served, karma card. Page of Cups, though, this is trusting your intuition. For some of you, this may be a new love. Somebody messaging saying, you know, I want to be with you or something like that. Um, but for some of you, I just feel like you don't want to move on. Tell me about the shit. Yeah, you're indecisive. You don't know if you want to take this person back because of what they did. You don't know if you want to stay. It's like you're indecisive. Six of Pentacles, yeah. 
this felt like a one-sided relationship um, because you were trying to be devoted, they weren't, you know, they were giving to other people, but also you're needing to look after you now and there needs to be this equal give and take. For some of you, I feel like you are going to want to reconcile. I just want to get... Let me just move these cards out of the way for a minute. Just use a different deck for a minute. I just want to know, is this person, is this person a twin flame? Is this person that wants to come back and reconcile with your person? So tell me more. Ace of Keys. Some sort of opportunity. High Priestess in reverse. Watch your intuition. Hermit in reverse. Five of hearts. You're definitely going through this, um, what's the word I want to say, emotional pain. Um, yeah, two, I just feel like you're in this place you don't know what to do. You, you can't, you can't make a decision. Um. Use these cards before. Um, okay, so I feel like you don't know if you want to take some opportunity that is being um given to you and but I also feel like you need to trust your intuition and that's the problem because I don't feel like you're listening to your intuition here there could be things you don't know um you know this person could have ghosted you I mean who knows right um but at the same time I don't feel like you want to be alone So, yeah. You don't know where you stand, but there's also, you know, you know there's competition. You know this has all caused conflict. There's disagreements. There's like, you know what this situation is, right? You know that what this has done And I feel like for some of you, you're in this place of waiting for some sort of return on investment because I don't feel like this person has given that to you. What should this person do? Should they reconcile or not? What should this person do? Two of Hearts, which is Kindred Spirit card. Four of Hearts. Not really feeling like you're that fulfilled. You're not happy, really. I 
I feel like I'm getting that you don't feel happy when you're alone. And you really see this person as your person. Like here you are with your person. And then here you are not feeling all that happy. The rain's coming down. You're all by yourself feeling like out of crap. Not really sure what you want to do. But the sun card's here. And this is the best card in the deck. So I feel like my message is if you trust your intuition. I feel like you're going to make the right decision. I feel like you don't want to end something, but as I said, trust your intuition. And I mean, really listen. You know, if it says this is not good for you, then maybe you need to leave. But I'll leave that up to you. Anyway, that is what I have for you, Leo. Um, I hope that resonates. Okay, I'll catch you later. Bye.